Hi, this is JP from Not Lots Over Arkham. Welcome to another uh, Hero Pack Focus episode where we look at the cards that come in the Vision Hero Pack that just came out here. So let's get started. The Vision Hero Pack comes with the pre built uh, protection deck. So, uh, first off, let's look at the uh, Vision uh, specific cards. So first off, we have the Alter Ego side of Vision. Uh, Vision has a recovery of 3 uh, Android trait. While you are in dense mass form, you get plus 2 recovery. While you are in intangible mass form, you get plus 1 hand size. Set up, uh, put your mass form upgrade into play, intangible side face up. Hand size 5, hit points 11. So uh, first off, the mass card is a double-sided card, we'll look at that next, but uh, before that, let's see what the Vision's hero side does. So, uh, Vision has a 2 thwart, 0 attack and 0 defense, so uh, first off looks like a bad, <laughs> bad uh, stat line, but uh, there are some tricks to Vision, so we'll uh, focus on those. Uh, Vision has the Android and Avenger traits, Density Manipulation action, Change Mass Form uh, by flipping your Mass Form upgrade over, limit once per round. Uh, hand size 5, hit points 11. So uh, Vision really focuses on the Mass Form uh, he is using. So uh, let's look at the Mass Form next, see what it does. We'll start from the dense side. So, uh, upgrade uh, dash cost, so it's, uh, it starts in play, or it should st uh, start in play. Yeah, so in setup, uh, put your mass form upgrade into play in tangible side phase up. But uh, we'll look at the dense side first. So, the dense side gives you, uh, while in hero form, vision gets plus two attack and plus two. So uh, those attack zero attack and zero defenses turn plus twos uh, or or twos. So the stat line is basically two 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 when you are in dense form. Response after you change to this mass form, draw one card. So you are also getting a card when you change into this. And uh, we start the game in intangible uh, side up. So it's a mass form permanent. Uh, also, uh, Vision cannot attack or defend. Uh, reduce the amount of damage Vision takes from each attack by two. So, in this form, you are not able to attack or uh, defend, but you still can thwart, which is pretty interesting. But uh, you are also taking less damage uh, in this form. And to remind, in this form, uh, the form also affects the Alter Ego side, so uh, when we are in uh, intangible mass form, uh, we get plus one hand size, when we are in dense mass form, we get plus two recovery, so you have to keep that in mind before you go to Alter Ego, because uh, the ability to change the form is on the hero side. So that is one thing you need to keep in mind. Okay, well, that is the uh, gimmick of Vision, so uh, he has the two mass forms, which you will alter bit in between. Let's look at the rest of the Vision set cards. So we have uh, Vivian. Uh, Vivian is a two-cross ally, uh, one toward, one attack, uh, android champion and two hit points. While you are in intangible mass form, Vivian gets plus four. While you are in dense mass form, Vivian gets plus two attack and can be committed as a or, or a wild resource. So again, uh, we are comboing with the mass forms with this ally. So you have to uh, change to the form you need, uh, etc. Next up, we have the support. Uh, we have the 616 Hickory Branch Lane is a one cost support occasion alter ego action exhaust this card 
uh, search your deck and discard pile for an android ally and add it to your hand shuffle and this can be committed as a mental resource so this is a cheap way to search for um, android ally and there are a lot of android allies in this vision pack and of course uh, when we get more and more uh, cards for the game I, I'm sure we are getting more androids so at the moment we don't have that many androids in, uh, if I remember correctly but we'll see what the future brings so a decent, decent card to uh, search for androids next we have uh, the solar gem it is a 2 cost upgrade item vision gains the aerial trait resource exhaust solar gem generate a, an, um, a wild resource and this can be committed as a wild resource so this is another uh, upgrade uh, that generates resources so a really interesting and important card next up we have vision scape so vision scape is a two cost upgrade item while you are in dense mass form you gain one uh, gain retaliate one and while you are in intangible mass form you gain star wars and this can be committed as a physical resource so another card that combos with the mass forms so you need to know in which form you are when uh, you want the specific um, effect from the cape then we have another upgrade it is density control there are two copies of this in the deck so uh, density control is a superpower uh, hero response after you change mass form discard this card add a vision event from discard pile into your hand so uh, it can be committed as a mental resource so at the moment we haven't looked at the events vision events yet so let's look at those the first vision event is a solar beam there are three copies of this in the vision deck so a solar beam is a three cost event attack superpower ward hero action attack if vision is in dense mass form deal seven damage to an enemy uh, hero action ward if vision is in intangible mass form remove five threat from a scheme so this is uh, one uh, event you can uh, get uh, with the dense control we just looked at. Uh, then we have another event. So it is the super dense strike. There are two copies of this. So super dense strike is a two cost event. Attack super power. Play only if vision is in dense mass form. Hero attack. Uh, uh, hero action attack. Deal 5 damage to an enemy, this attack gets piercing. And this can be committed as a physical resource. So, uh, not that as powerful as the solar beam, but still a decent 2 cost attack uh, action. And uh, then we have another event, it is uh, just passing through. There are 2 copies of this. Uh, just passing through is a one cost event, super power sword, play only if vision is in intangible mass form, hero action sword, remove three threat from a scheme, ignoring the patrol, keyword and the crisis icon, and this can be committed as a mental resource. So, uh, the same as the super dense strike, which is for a dense form and an attack, this is for uh, the intangible mass form and for thwarting. So, I'm really liking the style vision we play in, but we'll see the rest cars first. Next we have uh, one copy uh, event, which is a phase disruption. Uh, it is a two cost event, super power. Play only if vision is in tangible mass form, hero action confuse an enemy, choose an attachment from that enemy with the text hero action or hero response and discard that attachment. So, a pretty powerful card, if you remember some attachments are really costly to get rid of, you might need to get uh, discard three resources and exhaust your hero to do it. With this, you can just remove it and on 
top of that confuse the enemy, so really powerful card. Of course a bit situational, but it can be committed as an energy resource if you just don't need it, don't need the confusion or, or the other effect. Uh, then we have a mass increase, which is another event, so the vision set is really event heavy. Uh, mass increase is a defense for power play only if vision is in dense mass form. Hero interrupt defense when vision defense prevent all damage from that attack. Stun the attacking enemy after that attack resolves and this can be committed as a physical resource. So this is the last card in the set. Um, a pretty powerful defense ability you could take a ton of damage from a really hit hard hitting uh, villain like for example Ronan hits pretty hard and if uh, Green Goblin has a ton of uh, boost cards uh, set aside you could just tank those uh, damages with this without taking any damage so a really strong card that was the last um, uh, hero specific card for vision so next up let's look at all of the uh, protection cards that come with vision's hero pack so first off we have jocasta uh, jocasta is a three cost ally uh, toward one attack uh, thwarting causes two consequential damages android avenger you may play the event attached to Jocasta as if it were in your hand. Response after Jocasta enters play, choose a defense event in your discard pile and attach it to her face down. And uh, Jocasta can be committed as a mental resource. So all of those powerful uh, defense events you can uh, place underneath Jocasta when she comes into play and then pay it an extra time. So, uh, the three cost is okay, not too expensive, um, but we'll see how how Jocasta works. You of course, need those uh, protection events to make use of her. Next, we have Protector. Uh, Protector is a four cost ally, one for three attack and two consequential damage. On the three attack, Android Avenger, three health, interrupt. Uh, when Protector would take any amount of damage, spend a mental resource, reduce that amount by one, limit once per round, and uh, this can be committed as a physical resource. So, four cost for that ability, and of course, uh, she hits hard for three attack, but two consequential damages. Uh, when Protector would take any amount of damage, well, I think consequential damage is any amount of damage, so uh, you can reduce that by one. You can hit it, hit with uh, three, and take on one by spending an uh, entire resource. So I think it, it's it's a fine ally, Not, nothing special, but we'll see how that works. Next up, we have uh, Victor Mancha. Victor is a two cost ally, zero toward zero attack, Android Avenger for health. Reduce the amount of damage Victor Mancha takes from each attack by one, and Victor can be committed as an energy resource. So, Victor Mancha is uh, there just to jump block and stay in play a bit longer than usual by reducing the damage. So, you could just tank uh, um, one damage hitting minion for all eternity with Victor. So, always defending against that and never taking any damage so uninteresting to cost ally we'll see how, how that works next up we have a new upgrade for protection there are of course a few copies of this uh, flow like water is a two cost upgrade condition play under any player's control Max one per player, response up to play a defense card, deal one damage to the attacking enemy, and this can be committed as a, a physical resource. So, I really uh, liking this card because most of the time when you are playing uh, protection, the games are slow because you have so few times when you can hit the enemy, 
So with this, you are just playing defense cards and dealing damage uh, slowly. So this this looks like a really interesting card, and of course the limit max one per player um, means that you can't stack this on on yourself. But I think this will be a one up one. Uh, copy card in uh, protection decks for, for me if I am focusing on events. So, interesting. Uh, next up, uh, we have a re two copies of Indominable. This is a reprint, so I'm not using that that much. Then we have a new event. This is Defiance. There are, of course, three copies. Defiance is a zero-cost event. Defense, hero interrupt, defense. When a boost card on an enemy attacking you would be turned face up, this card is dead. So, this is actually pretty good. Uh, you can just ignore boost cards, so there are no uh, risk of getting the boost effect. And uh, of course, you can mitigate how much damage you are taking by uh, discarding the boost card. So really liking this and it is a zero cost so you don't have to spend cards from hand to plate except for it itself uh, then we have a reprint of sidestep there are of course three copies of this so uh, not talking about sidestep that much it already came out uh, way way a while ago but it, it is an event so i think uh, visions rebuild deck will be pretty event heavy then we have two copies of reprint that uh, get behind me, so I mean, say about those. Uh, we have uh, our reprint of Preservation. Well, this came in the Mad Titan Shadow, so I'm just quickly looking through it. So Preservation, max one per deck. Hero response, after you spend this card, deal one damage from your identity. This can be committed as a wild resource. So, um, I think that is a pretty interesting uh, protection. Uh, deck. Next up, let's look at the um, basic cards that come in uh, Vision's Hero Pack. So we have another Android. It is machi Machine Man. Machine Man is a 2 cost ally with 1 part, 1 attack. Uh, Android 3 health interrupt. When Machine Man attacks or thwarts, spend up to 3 resources of any type. Machine Man gets plus 1 ward and plus 1 attack for each resource spent this way. And this can be committed as a physical resource. So, Machine Man could uh, hit for uh, 4 damage with one swing, or 4 for 4 threat for one uh, activation. So, I'm really liking this because if you get a good uh, draw mechanic going uh, with protection cards or whatever, uh, you could have plenty of extra resources but you have to keep in mind um, you can spend any uh, resources of any type so if, if you're uh, spending three uh, spending double uh, resource resource cards those give you two so keep that in mind so, Machine Man, really interesting ally. Uh, we have uh, next uh, reprint of Adventures Mansion, not talking about that that much. Uh, then we have a new event, which is Reboot. There are three copies of this. Uh, reboot is a one cost event, action ready, a friendly Android character, and heal one damage from it. And uh, of course, Vision is a friendly Android character, so you can heal your hero with this, or all of those Android allies you are having play so works well with vision and the androids then we, uh, the last three cards are reprints of the basic uh, resource cards and that is the vision uh, hero deck all done so that is the rebuild next up let's look at all of the nemesis and uh, Obligation cards we get. So, obligation card first. Uh, corrupted programming. Give to the vision player. Treat your mass form upgrade text box as if it were blank, except for keywords. 
alter ego action, exhaust your identity using corrupted programming from the game. So when you get this, you are royally screwed uh, until you get rid of this. So it, it, it is there is only one way to get rid of this. You can't just um, discard it. So you have to go to alter ego and exhaust to get rid of this and keep uh, failing correctly. But yeah. Side. Then uh, we have a little surprise for the Nemesis. We get Ultron. So Ultron is a, a Nemesis minion with two steam, two attack, and uh, an asterisk on the attack. Uh, six health, Android Elite, tough, uh, toughness. Uh, asterisk is forced interrupt when Ultron attacks you. If Ultron drones is in play. Put the top card of your deck into play, face down, engage with you as a drone minion. And Ultron has two boost icons. So, uh, this is like a mini Ultron from the core set. So, really, really hoping to see how this, this functions as an MS minion. Then we have the Nemesis side scheme, which is Ultron. Unleashed. Uh, it is a side scheme. Uh, when revealed, search the encounter deck, discard pile, and set aside area for Ultron drones and put it into play. Shuffle the encounter deck. Each player puts the top card of their deck into play, face down, engage with them as a drone minion. This come has the uh, acceleration um, symbol and comes into play with three dwarves and uh, has three boost icons. So when you hit Shadows of the Past, Ultron comes into play. You also get this uh, un Ultron Unleashed and get the Ultron drones and start seeing drone minions. So really <laughs> liking the mini Ultron uh, encounter when you play Vision. Uh, then we have of course the Ultron drones. So it's face down drone minion engaged with player has a base scheme of 1, base attack of 1, and a base hit point of 1. Force response after a face down draw minion is defeated, place that card in its owner's discard pile. So, again, functions like the Ultron drones in the corset Ultron scenario. Then we, the last card is uh, Relentless Android, and there are two points. This it is a treachery. When revealed, if Ultron drones is in play, put the top two cards of your deck in play face down, engage with you as drone minions. Otherwise, discard two random cards from your hand. Okay, and two boost icons. So, those were the Nemesis and Obligation cards. Lastly, we'll quickly look through the other aspect cards that come in this hero pack. We first have Hustle Training. There are only two copies of this because the card has a condition and it has max two per deck. Just two training counters. Alter ego action, exhaust this card and remove one training counter from it. Use an aggression red event in your discard pile and shuffle it into your deck. So, again, uh, and this can be committed as an So, uh, again, the same kind of. Um, condition that we've seen in previous hero packs for other um, other colors so nothing more to say about that then uh, uh, zero cost upgrade there are three copies of this it is a justice card uh, chance encounter condition Attach to a side scheme, match one per scheme, interrupt when attach side scheme is defeated, search your deck and discard pile for an ally and add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. So this this is uh, an interesting card. If you're uh, focusing on getting rid of uh, side schemes and having a lot of good allies in your deck or, or discard pile or, or in your deck altogether this helps you get those allies in, play, uh, in your hand play them again etc uh, then the justice card is joining forces it is a uh, four 
a, a three copy card and it is a four cost event. Alliance, the players can play this card as a group, hero action as a group. The players put a total of one Avenger ally and one Guardian ally into play from their hands. So for four resources you can play two allies which can cost whatever but they have to be on one Avenger, one Guardian, so again I usually play on True Solo so these Alliance cards are not tickling my fancy that much but they seem pretty powerful if you're playing multiplayer. Lastly we have Meditation, there are three copies of this. Meditation is a zero cost event, alter ego action, exhaust your alter ego, play a card from your hand, reducing its resource cost by three. So this is actually a pretty good card. Uh, in alter ego, if you're building, you might have like an Avenger mansion in hand. Just uh, in early turns, uh, use meditation to play uh, those really expensive support cards uh, cheap and getting more stuff out play faster so really looking forward to using the meditation and that is all uh, that is the whole vision deck uh, really interested in seeing how vision works so next up I will be sleeving this deck up and I already predetermined that I want to play against Ultron I actually hadn't looked what the Nemesis minion is, so that came as a surprise that it is also Ultron, but we'll deal with that. So uh, I'm still thinking of testing Vision out against standard Ultron, so look forward to that video. Hope you guys uh, liked this video and thought it as useful to decide if you want to get Vision uh, for your uh, Marvel Champions uh, Heroes uh, gallery. So. Thanks for watching and until next time.